is known as the western rice ball of a country. Poro Fortress was built in the year 1644 by Shabdung Namgil, the person who actually unified our country. Previously, those fortresses were built in order to defend the valley against external invasion, but now all the fortresses in our country are used for two purposes, one for government offices, another for district monk body. It's such a beautiful, gorgeous space. I decided to use the 100 to 400 and get some detailed shots of all the artwork. And then I'm gonna go completely opposite and use my 16 to 35 millimeter and get a nice wide shot of this entire space. One of my favorite things about this lens is the image stabilization feature. So as you take the shot, you can see on the viewfinder that the screen just freezes when you're holding down on the shutter. I'm just waiting for the perfect moment when they look up at me. Ah, there we go. Now I'm just gonna switch over to my wide angle lens and get some wide shots of the space. Boom, baby. Back in business. Today is the big day. We're hiking up Tiger's Nest. And if you don't know what Tiger's Nest is, see right up there? There's a monastery right in the middle of those mountains. We're gonna take a horse halfway up. Just a little scary because we're going uphill. This is really scary, mainly because we're like on the edge of the cliff. In the back of my mind, I was super grateful thinking that I lucked out and I didn't have to hike as much as I originally planned. But that was definitely the scariest hike of my life. Once we reached the halfway point, we knew it was on. We took our time and we slowly but surely made it to the top. We call it as Taksang, which literally means tiger's den or tiger's lair. It is believed that Guru Rinpoche rode a tigress to get there. Guru Rinpoche meditated for three to four months in a cave. We finally made it up here. This is the moment we've been waiting for. And look how incredibly beautiful this is. This looks really pretty. I love how the light is hitting the monastery. And I love these flags, so let's try to see if we could lower our camera angle and it seems to look really nice. Unfortunately, the light is a little bit too harsh. I still shot it because you never know how it's gonna look on your computer screen and when you post-process some images, it could come out pretty cool. I'm really glad that I challenged myself and decided to make the hike up to Tiger's Nest. I realized a lot of things on this trip. I've got to explore a beautiful country that not a lot of people get to see. In this day and age of social media, we're so glued to our technology, our smartphones, our computers, that we don't take the time to really soak in where we are. In Bhutan, that's exactly what we did. We were disconnected and it was okay. In most of the countries, what's happening is they have developed way too far and what they lack is their culture, their identity. So as a person, it is very important that we know our identity. 
You should visit Bhutan because when it comes to our architectural design and the culture that we have in our country, which is still being proudly preserved, you will feel like you are really in a wonderland where one will get to see if you walk in the street, it is very tempting to take pictures of person with our national colorful dresses. We have good environment. We live with the principle of Buddhism. That's why I don't want to leave Bhutan. In case I go abroad, I'll make sure that I come back to my own country. Saying goodbye is really hard for me, but I do know I have many images that will bring me right back to this moment here in Bhutan. I'm forever grateful for this experience and being able to share it with you guys.